Chapter of a New Century, it's a major, major work from Zhang Zhaogang's early period. And it's painted at a time in the artist's own personal life when he's searching for answers. Within the context of an art world, which was finding its own new directions, it's a real landmark, not just in the artist's own oeuvre, but also within the history of the Chinese avant-garde. Zhang Zhaogang is one of a group of artists who really came of age in the 1980s in China. I think what's unique about Zhang Zhaogang and his contemporaries is that there isn't a generation before them. And here you have Zhang Zhaogang as one of the preeminent artists of his time, leading a generation to what is it to be an artist? What is fine art? What does it mean to be an artist in China today? And I think there's a lot of that soul searching you see in this painting. You have the baby by its definition, the epitome of innocence, unblemished, uncorrupted, the future's in his hands, her hands. But what is that future? In front of him is an open book with barely legible script and uh, this floating hand pointing at a particular passage. On the wall behind the baby, there's a collage of family photos. These are the sorts of very staged, formal family photos that was customary in China at that time to, to get taken. I think what's really interesting is this is the first time in this painting that we see these family portraits occur in Zhang Zhaogang's work. They become the blueprint for his next body of work, the Big Family Bloodline series, for which he is arguably best known. There's a very good example of such a painting in the sale from 1997, where you can see the full evolution of that style. The 1980s saw this increasing openness towards the West. Artists whose talent had previously been bent towards political ends saw new opportunities for being creative. This painting charts his transition as an artist from that 1980s period to the 1990s at a time when the artistic community in China in general was making that same transition against a backdrop of even greater seismic change, social, political, economic, political, that was taking place in China at that time. Chapter of a New Century, it exhibited in the Guangzhou Biennial, which really is the sort of the blueprint for all art exhibitions, contemporary art exhibitions in China through to today. When Zhang Zhaogang made this painting, there was not an established art market, and like most of his works, it disappeared into a private collection and wasn't seen for over a decade. It's one of the most important paintings of that period, one which charts the artist's own artistic career, and one that charts the broader artistic context of China at that time.